Music runs right the way from the lower school through to the upper school. Um, and we have everything from cathedral choristers to concert bands, uh, to pop choirs, uh, orchestras, um, everything, chamber music. So pretty much everything finds its niche here. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. I like the fact that uh, it's very diverse. I'm involved in many orchestras across the school and uh, a jazz band which was very new to me when I came to Norwich. The other side of the, the big practical music making that happens in the school is the academic side and pupils study right the way through GCSE and A level. Um, many go on to study music at either conservatoires or university level. We're in the cathedral every day in one way or another, so the school sings a hymn, if that's all it is. It sings a hymn every day, that's a thousand voices. All the cathedral boy choristers are pupils at the lower and upper schools, um, and they receive what really is the finest kind of training in Western music in a diet that hasn't really changed in the last few hundred years. I'm very busy at this time of year because of house music, which enables you to be involved in a different way. Uh, musicians are given a chance to organise it yourself. So we perform in our own chapel and then we go into the city and perform at St Andrew's Hall. Every half term or so, there's an informal concert. You can enter yourself, you play any piece you want. If you're slightly more advanced, you can enter the Devison's Music Competition, which enables you to perform as part of a competition. And if you win, you then go on to the Devison's Winners Competition. We've given concerts um, in the assembly rooms in town, the Theatre Royal, we perform at Norwich Playhouse, and then further afield, um, in a couple of weeks' time, we take students across to Burnham Thorpe, which is Nelson's home church. We're in London the week after that, performing for the Dyers in a beautiful Wren church in, in the city of London. Some of our pupils are involved um, the Norfolk Young Musician of the Year, which is at the John Innes Centre. Um, last year we were placed first and second. We've done Guys and Dolls, Les Miserables, and this year we have Sweet Charity up and running. Les Miserables was a phenomenal undertaking. It, it, it's just massive, it's more than two hours of three composed music. Um, and over 70 people on stage. It's not just about the results, it's actually it's about the pleasure of being in the room and seeing some of our musicians over the last few years uh, grow as performers and learn to communicate um, in such a sort of professional manner with an audience. They, they learn confidence, um, they learn to communicate, they learn a depth about their art. I mean, that's a fantastically exciting place to be.